morning, it's my first day off and I'm off to spend the day in Antwerp. I've got a few, a few cool things I want to see. Uh, woke up again with a flat tyre annoyingly. I think it was just the valve that's broken so changed that. Uh, it was a bit frustrating but hopefully that's sorted now. And weirdly, um, I can't seem to make my fingers go together. That's as close as they can go. I think it's got something to do with the fact that I broke my arm a few years ago and the tendons aren't quite right and gripping onto the handlebars like that has just affected it. So that was quite a struggle when trying to change my uh, tyre this morning. But yeah, looking forward to today. I'll show you what I can get up to. So I came over the river with my bike today in hope that I could find a bike shop to put a front rack on my front, front wheel. But annoyingly, it's Sunday and everything is shut. But the good news is that the sewers are open, so I'm gonna go there. shops might be shut today but Antwerp certainly comes to life. There's been a parade, there's currently a music festival in the main square, a ZZ Top tribute band, I think they just finished actually, uh, and I've got my sewer tour booked at four o'clock so I'm gonna go and meet the turtles and then um, head back to my campsite I think. But yeah, certainly a lot going on. Just about to go into the sewers. I've got to wear this nice blue jumpsuit with a pair of wellies. We've also got this tablet to show us around. Yep, it really does smell of poo. So I've just started. It smells pretty bad. And apparently there's a ghost down here that will throw you into the water. And there's also rare species of rats and spiders, which is nice. It's a manhole cover up there, look. I guess that's all just raw sewage. They might go like half a centimeter more, but that's it. Yeah. So, yeah. It's, uh, it's and these are the webs yeah. up there, are they? Yeah, those tunnel, they're tunnel web spiders, yeah. Huh? yeah. Tunnel web? <coughs> uh, you see that glistening? That's all salt deposit. I think that's just picking it up. There's a rat. Can you see it? There he is, 
ですね<笑>うんごめんごめんごめんごめんごめんごめんごめんごめんごめんごめんごめんごめんごめんごめんごめんごめんごめんごめんごめんごめんごめんごめんごめんごめんごめんごめん Put them in claw fingers.、Um, three tunnels are done in this week, so yeah, all tunneled out. Anyway, enjoyed it. It smelled, saw spiders, saw rats.、Uh, we walked about 1.5 kilometers, and now I'm gonna go and check out the cathedral which I was under about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> That's an end to a fun day. Didn't expect to come across a little music festival, so that was a bit of a result. But it's not over yet. I'm off to one last thing. But don't get too excited. We'll see why in a bit. And around this corner is what I've come to see. How excited are you? Look at this a wooden escalator. So instead of catching the free ferry like I caught across my campsite yesterday, I've come to St. Anna's Tunnel and you can get across the river this way. The cool thing about it is that the escalator is made out of wood. Yesterday, this whole tunnel was shut for renovation. So glad I got to see it, and it was actually really nice. Nice, cool breeze. It's been there for ages. So, yeah, enjoyed that. Worth coming to see. And now I'm on the right side of my campsite. Anyway, that's me done for the day. I am shattered. I'm gonna go back to the campsite. Got lasagna for dinner. And I'm just gonna chill out the rest of the evening. So, see you tomorrow. Cheers. Good morning, and what a beautiful day it is to. Do my longest ride yet. I've got a 70 mile cycle across into another border into the Netherlands, woo! Where I'm staying in Rotterdam tonight. I've got a youth hostel booked. But first, I have to cross the river, go through that tunnel again, and then my first stop will be some nice windmills when I get in Holland about 50 miles away. But yeah, look at this, what a beautiful day. I'm not gonna lie to you, going up these escalators is no easy task with a bike that weighs probably 80 kilograms. That's a guess. But yeah, going down, I actually thought my bike was gonna go all the way down with me with it. I just I saved it at the last second. Thankfully, this is the last one now. And I think I've just got enough energy to hold it to the end. The rest of my ride should be pretty easy from now on after that. I just looked on the map to see where I was, and on the map it shows that I'm a few hundred meters west of、uh, the Netherlands. So I'm literally following the border, and I'm actually going to be crossing it very soon. It's about 20 to 12, so I'm making good progress today. It's so flat.、Um, the river's really nice, no real problems, so that's good.、Uh, this is actually the third time I've、uh, tried to enter the Netherlands from Belgium. The first time was unsuccessful. I was in Bruges and rented a bike, and I saw this really cool American style car, and I had my camera. 
around my neck. I took a photograph of it because the brakes were like a bit weird. I totally messed it up and went head over the handlebars, bent the handlebars, broke the bike, and uh, yeah, didn't make it to Netherlands. Second time was obviously when I cycled to Istanbul. But this time, third time, hopefully, it should be just as smooth as the last time. Often referred to as the cycling capital of the world. Welcome to the Netherlands, woo! There's no actual signpost to let me know. Uh, maybe that's it. It just shows me on my Google that it's the Netherlands. Ah, oh, it's my fourth country. Where's the no sign? Always disappointing when there's no signs. Anyway, happy to be here. That's a nice, easy ride into the Netherlands. I can't believe there's no sign. Or maybe this is it. Okay, are you going to be signed for Belgium? No. What? How disappointing. So literally the first person that I've seen in the Netherlands who's not on a bike is wearing a pair of wooden clogs. And I'm not even joking. I'm going to have to go back and stealthily show you this because I think it's worth it. Hello. so far it's really good for cycling it's so flat so I'm getting lots of mileage in the cycle network is amazing I don't think there's been one point actually where I've not been on a cycle path so that's been good uh, I'm about 14 miles away from the Kinterjeck windmills looking forward to seeing that I'm a bit hungry because there's been many shops to buy food so I've been running on donuts that I had in my bag and a few sweets and the a bit of chicken that I had for breakfast has kind of fueled me. But so far, Netherlands is great. the windmills. I'm now off to Rotterdam. It's about 10 miles away. I think I've got to catch a little ferry up here. I've no idea how it works but I guess I'll find out in a second. I guess this is similar to the Antwerp ferry to get across the river except you can take cars across on this one. There's a queue of people waiting to get on. I guess it's free. It's not far. Good job I had a Euro coin on me, otherwise I might have been stuck. Which way do I go now? So in Belgium and Holland, you're allowed to ride mopeds or motorbikes in the cycle paths. I think it's only like up to a 50cc, but some of them are actually quite nippy and it's a very common sight here. just gone about half six and I've ridden about 74 miles today so by far my furthest day not bad considering I left at about nine o'clock this morning it's been a really nice day it's been really easy riding actually didn't feel like 74 miles at all that's because of like the amazing cycle paths they have here the fact it's been so flat and the weather's been great but I've now arrived into Rotterdam and I'm staying in a hostel tonight called the King, um, King Kong Hostel. So 
I'll probably go for a wander this evening. If not, I'll definitely go for a wander in the morning. Anyway, my hostel is just coming up, so I'll catch you later. I'm all showered and feeling fresh, and I'm just heading into the town square now to check out a bit of Rotterdam. Staying on quite a cool street, lots of bars and cafes and restaurants and stuff.